We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we are featuring a tip sent in by one of our viewers who is building a Zenith CH701. And regardless of what aircraft you are building, you may be able to use this excellent suggestion by Rob Tweed on how to fill the gaps in wing tips using an epoxy filler to provide a much nicer look than what the factory intended. Let's take a look and see if this procedure is something you can benefit from. Hello, my name is Rob Tweed and I am working on a 701 project located in Middleton, Wisconsin with my good friend Jeff Plant who is manning our camera here today. And uh, I wanted to submit a builder's tip for John one of the things I found with the 701 that I was not real impressed with is the fiberglass tips for both the slats and the flaperons. Uh, as those of you working on this may know, the, uh, the uh, area in here when you're trying to go with a rounded off uh, slat fiberglass tip to this sharp angle is, is a huge gap. And likewise, over here at the end, I think these things stop about in this location here and it just didn't uh, look all that great. So uh, the solution that uh, I came up with is to use some epoxy resin along with filler material and then fill in all these gaps. Now you can use any type of resin system as long as it's a two-part epoxy and would, would stick very well to fiberglass. I happen to have from a, a different project some of this uh, Scotch Weld uh, 2158 3M structural adhesive. This is probably not ideal, a regular epoxy resin that you would use for what layup might even be better, but this is what I had on hand and it would work for our purposes here. What you're going to do is, is mix up a batch of that stuff and then using uh, flocked cotton fiber, otherwise known as flocks, you mix this into whatever uh, resin system you're using to make a uh, rather viscous paste. And then you will goop that paste after everything's been cleaned up with acetone, goop that paste with a little stirring stick like this around the, the gaps that you have between the uh, fiberglass or the fiberglass tip and the aluminum skin here. And um, for the end here where this stops short, you, you're probably familiar with it, it kind of does this, this sort of a, a U uh, shape. And for that, I recommend using a, uh, a smaller piece of fiberglass. And I don't know what I did with that, but you could take a, a small piece of fiberglass similar to this stirring stick and insert that into that, that U shape with it all gooped up with that, that mixture that I just referred to, and then clamp it off in between the, the two skins and let everything cure up. So you'll, you'll have a lot of that flox resin all gooped up in these, these areas here. Once it cures, then you can come back and, uh, and using a palm sander, get it close and then just using other or other uh, sandpaper, smooth it all out. Um, you're going to want to be careful with acetone. Use chemical gloves and uh, clean up the excess with your acetone. That makes your sanding go a lot easier. But um, when it's all done, you'll have ends that, that look like this. That um, just, in, in my opinion at least, looks a little bit nicer than the uh, standard fiberglass pieces that um, come with the kit. So that is my builder tip of the day. Very nice Rob, thank you. Now let's review the important components needed to create this filler material 
so you can dress up nearly any part of your aircraft. First, the best choice is to select a two-part epoxy resin and hardener with the metering pumps, like this one on Amazon. It's about $70, also available at Aircraft Spruce. The pumps take the guesswork out of mixing the right amount. Then, because the resin is too thin for our use, we need to thicken it up. The cheapest and safest material is to add in floxed cotton. This is from Aircraft Spruce for about $5 for a one pound bag. Once you have mixed these up, you are on your way to fill the gaps with a reliable material. You have the ability to repair and dress up all sorts of parts on your aircraft with these basic materials. Go forth and experiment and then and then back to building.